live in HD from the station that brings you more West Texas news. News West 9 at 6 starts now. New at 6 tonight, the parents of a six-year-old Midland girl have filed a medical malpractice suit against Midland Memorial Hospital. They claim she had appendicitis, but it was misdiagnosed two years ago, and that left their daughter with brain damage in an amputated right leg. Tonight, the family and their attorney are speaking out. Alexa Williams joins us with her story. Alexa. Crystal Trevor, the medical malpractice suit also names Midland Pediatric Associates, Midland Emergency Management, and three Midland doctors. At the time of the surgery, Hannah Hernandez was four years old. Her parents and their attorney claimed that the young girl didn't get the medical attention she needed. It was always, the next day she'll be better. Um, she's going to get better. She, she's going to be better. And we trusted them. But according to this medical malpractice lawsuit filed by Hannah Hernandez's family, she did not get better. Hannah's parents gave an emotional account of what they claim is gross negligence on the part of several Midland doctors. Just, nobody should ever have to see their kid the way I saw my daughter. According to the lawsuit, between July 30th and August 6th of 2011, Hannah made several visits to Midland Pediatric Associates and the Midland Memorial Hospital emergency room. She was experiencing symptoms of abdominal pain, fever, a racing heartbeat, along with other symptoms. Hannah's family says doctors failed to identify that she had appendicitis. Which led to um, a terrible terrible condition. On August 5th, the young girl was airlifted to Covenant Children's Hospital in Lubbock. That's where she underwent surgery. Doctors removed three quarts of pus from her stomach following a ruptured appendix. According to the lawsuit, Hannah suffered multiple cardiac arrests during emergency surgery and at one point had CPR for 45 minutes. She's ended up uh, permanently uh, brain damaged and lost uh, a leg. To this. Now her family is seeking more than one million dollars. Attorney Les Weisbrod says the cost of Hannah's past medical care is over 1.6 million dollars. Midland Memorial Hospital has a governmental cap of one hundred thousand dollars. In a case like this, uh, that obviously is not going to take care of anywhere near uh, the compensation that's needed or the future care. Meanwhile, her parents say this experience has left their daughter scarred for life, and they want justice. Hannah's very uh, dependent, you know, on us. Um, you know, we're extremely glad to have her, and, and but you know, she's it's just it's way different. Hannah's family says future medical costs will add up to $40 million. We did contact Midland Memorial Hospital and they sent us this statement. It is Midland Memorial Hospital's policy to refrain from discussing ongoing, ongoing litigation matters with the press. In addition, information about the care of any patient is protected under federal privacy laws and any such information will not be provided by Midland Memorial Hospital. According to the family's attorney, Midland Memorial has 21 days to respond to the lawsuit. We'll keep you updated on any future developments. Alexa Williams, News West 9.